What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to code out your TPMS sensors and code in the flat tire monitoring system on your E90. Um, this basically helps if you change your tires like frequently or let's say you have a set of tires for snow, a set of wheels for snow and a set of wheels for like normal driving. Um, this basically helps because you don't have to transfer the sensors onto the onto the other wheels when you install them in your car. So I think it's better to have the flat tire monitor system than the TPMS because you basically don't have to pay for like um, the sensor transfer onto the other wheels and uh, you just have to put on the wheels and that's it. You don't have to do nothing else. Um, there is a con of about this and that's that um, let's say that both of your rear tires are flat or let's say that the temperature goes down and the lower tires go low on on psi because of the of how cold it is um your car won't recognize it because it actually senses the 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 psi on the tire depending on the speed of the of the wheel so that that's a con but if you think about it, that's not like a big deal. You you can just check your tire pressures if um, you like feel like the car is not driving well. But yeah, let's go do that. Let's let's do a cold start real quick. Start off, you're gonna need to go to your trunk and remove some clips. Um, you're gonna remove this one right here, this one up top, this one, and uh, I think only those two, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm gonna show you where the the RDC module is. There's also one behind this battery cover right here right there you have to, you have to take that one off also and uh, then you can pull the the trunk carpeting out out of the way I don't have an actual trim tool, that's why I'm taking it out with these like pliers. They do the job, so that's what I'm doing. Now that you got all the clips out, you can just pull the carpeting out of the way like this. So my camera ran out of space right now, but I just cleared some things up and now I can start recording again. So yeah, now all you gotta do is um, just push the carpeting out of the way once you're here you can see this little felt thing right here do the same for that just push it out of the way like this and then you can see the RDC module way back here it's right here I took the camera out of the tripod just to show you guys once you pull the carpeting out of the way this thing right here you can see the RDC module is right here all you gotta do is um, disconnect it and if you want take it out of the little holder right here and that's all you're gonna do back here if you actually want to take the RDC module out of there um, you're gonna have to take this bolt right here off I think it's a T20 if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah let's do that right now
you can just tuck the wires in back there if you like. And that's it right here. You can put everything back in place. If you want to, you can put the screw back in. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm gonna put it back in because it can make noise with the roll vibrations and all that, so I'm gonna put it back in. Also, a quick little tip, let's say you're, you lock the car and you can't open the gas cap because of the little lock it has. If you pull the carpeting out, you can see this little green tab right here. And if you pull it back, it actually um, unlocks the gas cap and now you can open it. Let's say that the little motor is on its way out or maybe it's not working anymore that's what you can do to open the gas cap so yeah so now all that's left to do is just to put all the clips back in That's basically all you have to do back here. Um, now all that's left is to code out the TPMS and code in, code in the um, FTM. So yeah, let's do that. I actually forgot to mention that um, for cars that are 2008 below, the RDC module is over here. But for the LCI ones, um, they're at, I think they're under the car. I'll leave a link down below to show you guys where it is, but yeah. All right, so once you've got the RDC module unplugged, um, if you actually turn on the car, you'll get an, an error, a TPMS light. Just give it a second. I'm gonna turn on the car. And if you actually go up to, there we go. You can see the light right there. So once you've got the KD CAN cable connected to the OBD2 port and to your laptop, you're gonna go into the input to see if the, your car is connected and you can see battery on, ignition on. So now let's close this out. Yes. Now let's go into NCS Expert. All right, so once you're in, in NCS Expert, you click File, Load Profile, Expert Man, Click F1, then click F3, and look for E89. Click E89, you can choose whatever ECU, it doesn't matter. Click OK, and you're gonna see all your information pop up, your VIN. Now you're gonna go into Enter FA, you're gonna choose again your you're going to choose your chassis again, E89, my VIN, okay, I'm not going to look for this right here, dollar sign 2VB, let it focus real once you click it, you're going to hit delete on your laptop, and you can see that it's been erased from um, the ECU basically, I just click okay, now you're going to click on back, Process ECU, you're gonna choose you're gonna choose CAS again, change job, and you're gonna look for FA right. That's it right there, FA right. Click OK. And now execute job. You can see job active, job ended. Now click change ECU or F1 and look for NFRM right here. Click OK. You can see it's also on FA right. You just click Execute Job. 
now just exit NCS export go back into NCS export click file load profile expert man and choose F1 again F3 look for E89 click OK now click back process ECU we're gonna go to DSC click OK you can see it's already on SG Codeering so now just click execute job this is to reset the um, the, the ECUs basically now click change ECU go into combi click OK execute job coding active coding active we're gonna see this reset now once you're in combi and after the coding has ended click read ECU this is gonna pop up now go to your files local disk NCS expert work I'm gonna look at the time it's 4 51 p.m. so this is it right here the TRC file 4 51 p.m. click on it once you're in here click edit find next RDC just look for RDC alive already see alive you can see it right there and now just right niched right niched underscore active now just go to just write MMI that's not it that's it so just click out that's supposed to be active so yeah um, I'm recording on my phone because my camera running out of space so yeah now just look for rdc robot and write niched underscore hold on underscore active now just file save as and write dot m a n click save replace yes all right now exit out now go back into ncs expert click basic functions on copy read sg get fsw psw click ok basic function perfect ended okay now change job to SG Codeering. Click Execute Job. Coding active. Coding ended. And it can't be where we set again. Reset under TPMS. You just drive your car normally, and uh, the TPMS will start to reset. Now just drive for a little bit to. To um, get the reading of the tire pressure. In my case, I have a low tire, so after driving for a little bit, the light will come on, and that's an indication that it worked. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, if you guys liked it, leave a big like down below. Also, comment what you thought of the video. Um, if you, by any chance, have like any problems doing this process. Just uh, send me a DM in Instagram and I'll make sure to help you a little bit just to like get you through the process, you know. Um, but yeah, please consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.